Yellow cloud, rope cloud. I am live in the Boulevard Peninsula, about to head east to Sabine Pass, and Hurricane Laura has undergone textbook rapid intensification overnight. This is the very first outer band of Hurricane Laura right now, as visible from the Boulevard Peninsula. We are monitoring this band for water spout potential as well this morning, but our plan is to head east uh, to uh, uh, intercept rapidly intensifying Hurricane Laura, forecast to make landfall late tonight, very close to the Texas-Louisiana border, and there is gonna be an absolutely prolific storm surge just to the east of it, forecast to be 10 to 20 feet. And in fact, most of the area from I-10 off to the south is likely gonna be underwater with all the marsh country down there across far southern Louisiana into far southeastern Texas. Likely a storm surge could go 30 to 40 miles inland, maybe even north of the Interstate 10 corridor. And we just passed high tide so far this morning, but another high tide is expected early tomorrow morning, very close to when uh, the storm is forecast to make landfall very late tonight, early on Thursday morning. But this is gonna be a very catastrophic storm, likely coming in as a category four, still undergoing that rapid intensification as it comes in uh, later on tonight. Likely gonna be tornadoes as well uh, in far east Texas into southern Louisiana, maybe even a little bit further inland, uh, just near that front right quadrant of the storm. But this area here is under a mandatory evacuation and that holds all the way through Cameron Paris, far southern Louisiana. That's that marsh country that is so storm surge prone. So when this 10 to 20 foot storm surge comes in, most of these areas will be completely underwater with wave action on top of it. Sustained winds uh, probably approaching 150 miles an hour with gusts even up to 200 miles an hour possible when this hurricane comes in. It's about as dangerous as it can get in terms of natural disasters in this area. And that's why it's so important to heed those evacuation warnings and get out of the path of this thing.